Yo, what's happening, Polly people? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Captain GG, and again, we are here with another episode in the heart save. It's it's getting to the crunch time now. We have the Champions League round of 16 first leg against AS Monaco for the first game, but it's going to be a double header in the Champions League because we're going to play the second leg on today's episode as well. We're going to skip over the game that we have in the, the Premier League just because we're we're dominating it like. It's, I'll quickly show you. It has been an absolute breeze in the league this season. Um, I mean, already 10 points clear. There isn't too many games to go. I think there's about eight, nine games, uh, given that we play another five after uh, the couple we've got left. So about eight games, I believe, to go. And, yeah, just a massive advantage. Really can't see us not winning the league from here. We've been on absolute fire. Um, the only team we have lost to has been Celtic with a couple of draws in there as well. Other than that, been trouncing pretty much every team. So like I said, we're going to focus on the Champions League double header. If we have a look at our schedule, you'll see here we play Monaco um, and then Aberdeen and then Monaco again. So uh, as well, when we look at it in terms of the whole draw, um, I think Monaco was one of the better teams we could have got. I mean, there was other teams. We could have played Celtic. We could have played Fiorentina. Um, we could have been up against the likes of uh, Marseille, I think, Nice, Leipzig, I think we could beat them. I, I think there's a lot of teams in there that I feel like we can get results against. Uh, so I, I'm happy that we got Monaco, because again, that is one of those teams. Uh, some other big draws in there as well, like Chelsea, PSG, Liverpool, Bayern, like two of those teams are going out. Two of those four teams are going out at this stage. So I think providing we get a win here and a decent a draw... There's a chance we could be making the semis before we play an absolutely massive team. And even then, we've done okay when we have played massive teams. Uh, so, yeah, let's get into today's game anyway against AS Monaco. Hopefully, we can find the victory. Uh, we'll get the opposition instructions done by our assistant. We are going to be playing this team. So, there's a couple of injuries we need to note. Uh, Calvin Ramsey, not 100% fit. He's just playing with a, a wrist uh, injury. So, it shouldn't really affect his overall fitness. Uh, Tyreek Mitchell is going to come in as well. Uh, he was signed on deadline day. If you haven't seen the last episode, do go and check that one out. Uh, you'll see all of the transfers in which we brought in. Uh, Christoph Ajar and Diego Carlos both in on loan at centre-back. They are going to be starting at centre-back together. Um, and then we've got Manzvek in the ball winner midfield role because unfortunately Jao Gomez has left us and gone to Arsenal. Uh, Pozzo is going to play in the DPL with Madoweki on the right, Pedersen in the cam. And we do have Ronnie playing out on the left-hand side. Now, although Skeldrup has left us, he is on loan back with us. Uh, we had that part of the deal, loan back length. Uh, so he's also gone to Arsenal, uh, but we've managed to loan him back in. And then obviously Endrick's going to play up front. Uh, Skeldrup just got a bit of a knock, hence why he will not start the game. We don't want to risk him. Uh, we'd rather have him available for the next one. Although this is the away game, so it is a little tougher. I'll take a draw from this. If we can get out of this game with a draw, I think we'll be very, very confident about qualifying for the next round. So let's get into this one. Hopefully, we'll uh, get the right result. Nobody expect... No, we owe Monaco. Yes, let's go with that. Let's, uh, let's feel the vibe of the Champions League theme tune for once. Not gonna lie. I'm feeling this. I'm feeling it, chat. I'm feeling it. I generally believe we can get a result here. I don't think they've got Asensio, but he's gonna be old. Fafana is gonna be decent. Nasio is gonna be decent. Decent. Balashil is gonna be decent. Vonderson is gonna be decent. But I feel like we've got good players as well. I'm real confident. Let's get latest scores. I don't think there's too many games going on. Celtic are playing to push a Dortmund. That's nice. Hopefully Celtic can go through as well. 20 minutes in, no highlights. I guess that's fine, given the fact that we're away from home and the fact that we'll take a draw. Don't mind that going that way. I still think we're a little bit off being able to win the Champions League. I mean, if we was in the Europa League, I'd have full confidence of winning it. Uh, the Europa... Imagine the Europa, the Europa Conference League would definitely win it. If it was in the Europa League, I still feel like we'd win it. Um, 
but the Champions League might just be a little bit of a stretch. It's still no highlights. 38 minutes in, and we get our first highlight. Mitchell swinging in the ball. Ramsey comes to the back stick, puts it back across. This, what? A, how did he not score? B, how did the goalkeeper save it? And even when he saved it, how did it not cross the line? Wow, I think we've got just a tad unlucky there, chat. I, I think we've got a bit unlucky there. Personally, I think I thought that crossed the line. But still, nil-nil half-time. We will take it. I'm going to say I'm delighted with the first half because we're not behind. We're away from home. Don't think Monaco created all that much. Arjar playing it forward. Madaweki, loads of space. Is he going to go for goal? He is. We'll take that. He went for goal. It's hit the keeper in the head and gone in. Hearts lead. That is huge. That is absolutely massive. Okay. We're feeling good. We are feeling good. Also, just a little side note. The editor database, the 98-99 season editor database, has gone live on early access. I'm not actually going to start the save until the full access is released. Um... A, then you guys will be able to play along, and B, just to make sure that it is the most polished version in which TMS can get out. The guy is amazing. Make sure you check out the Mad Scientist. Uh, if you want access to it now, you can subscribe to his Patreon. As Madaweki is in, it's two, and that is huge. That is huge. Two nil hearts. Um, so yeah, you can get early access to it right now if you are a subscriber on his Patreon. Uh, it's looking amazing. I'm going to be releasing a video just having a look at some of the players. Um, also having a look at the potential teams that we might be in that save. Um, so that will be coming out next week before we go into that save. Uh, but just a bit of a heads up on that one. As Hendrick's in. Oh, we had Madaweki on the far side in loads of space again. Couldn't find him. Madaweki has been absolutely insane so far in this game. 64 minutes gone. There could be a chance. A sense has got to be offside. Got to be offside. I'm not even... I'm not even worried this is a mile off wait is it goal oh wow he is on side okay okay 2-1 don't mind that 2-1 still feeling good calvin ramsey's having a really good game looking a bit tired though i do have i tell you what arja can go out to right back and then i'm gonna bring on magala uh, Diego Carlos is having a bit of a shocker. So I'm going to take him off for Mete Korkmaz as well. Endrick's not having a great game, so I'm going to bring on Lorenzo Luca. Um, also, Ronnie not having a great game. Skeldrick can come on. Oh, has he even been back in training, though? I don't know whether we should be risking him. Okay, let's not risk him. Who else have we got on that can come in? Uh, Pedersen can go over to the left, and then Marshall Colbert comes on. I feel like that's okay. Last 20 minutes, we will go for a shout as well. Uh, instructions, I'm going to go one click time waste, that's fine. Um, and then on the shouts, I'm going to say a little bit of fire up. Celtic are drawing 1-1 with Borussia Dortmund at the moment. They are at home though in their leg. Said before the game, I would have taken a draw, but the fact that we're 2 0 up, if we end up drawing now, oh my god. The one man I wasn't too worried about was Asensio. I thought, ah, he's past it, he's old. He's gonna score two. It's 2 2. Okay. Oh, come on. Who is it? It's Madaweki for a hat trick. Do it, lad. Come on. Oh, is it the wall? Magala, fuck. Alright, as long as they don't ping this ball all the way over our defenders. Exactly like that. I, I just knew. Just knew it was coming. It's the, that's how the counter attack works from that point. It's just one big pump straight over. I just knew that that was going to be a thing there. That is so, so frustrating. Oh, now Madaweki's injured. Oh, no. 
Oh no, we really don't have much we can do. This is really bad. This is really, really bad. A, a, a match that looked so in our favour to potentially go into the second leg with a lead. We've ended up losing the game and losing arguably our best player in that game. Yeah, that's, that's heavy, man. That is heavy. Um, okay, so we could have been beaten 2-1 as well. Shit the bed. Uh, hopefully he's not out for too long. Two weeks. He's going to miss the second leg. So we won't have Madaweki for the second leg. Chances are we won't have Skeldrip either. Alright, we could be in for a tough one. Let's jump on to the next game against Monaco. We'll see you in a moment. Alright chat, we are back again. Here we go. Second leg against Monaco after defeat in the first leg away from home. We now bring them to our ground, our stomping ground. And this is where we need to get a result to make it all worth it. And um, still very, very positive in the fact that we can get results. Some other big games going on around the ground as well. If we have a look at our team, we have changed our shape. So due to the injuries to Madaweki and Skeldrup has only just come back uh, from his injury. It's a little bit of a risk to play him. Also, having a look at that, Calvin Ramsey probably shouldn't play. So I think I'm going to go with Nilsson at right back. Uh, so we're going back to our 4-3-1-2 formation. Hopefully this is going to be enough. Arjar moving into midfield, Magala coming back into defence. Pretty much the only changes with obviously that one for Nilsson as well. I, I didn't really want to have to go back to this formation, but uh, having no wingers sort of really has forced us into it. And we're still feeling positive, still feeling like we can get the result. All we need to do is win the game, we take it the extra time. And obviously then we're at home, so we should, going the extra time wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Uh, we do owe Monaco after what happened in that last game we talked about. It. So then last time, uh, we're going to skip the intro and just get straight into it. We need a win. We need the win, boys. I believe the music's still playing, but hopefully we'll get the win. We could go attacking. I think positive for now. Uh, Bayern Munich is just going to goal up against Liverpool. I want to note that Celtic were beaten 2-1 in the first leg. So they are a goal down and now playing away from home. But here is Josh Doig at left back. I've missed someone out. I should. I didn't even realise I'd started Doig. But that's fine. We'll get over it. Pozzo. Still Pozzo. Oh. Probably should have started Tyreek Mitchell at left back. I think I left Doig in there from the game against Aberdeen at the weekend. Oh well, it's what it is. Seems to be a pretty uneventful game so far. But like I say, uneventful is okay at the moment. As long as we are the team that scores that first goal. First goal well, is going to be huge. If Monaco get the first goal, I might just need to go attacking. Oh, mix up at the back, and fortunately the effort. Rizzo was well placed to make the stop. Rizzo then throws it out. I'm okay with that. And then you just go long, really. Oh, that'll work though. Mansbeck, Endrick, can you square it? Go for goal. Oh, let's go. Endrick, the man. He is so good. I can't believe he's leaving at the end of the season. Goal number 40. So far this season, Endrick has been absolutely class for us. His parent club, United, are losing by a goal to nil. Uh, so there's no away goals, obviously, in the Champions League anymore. Uh, so this would go to extra time. However, Mansbeck, with the corner, swings it in towards the front post. It's headed away. Pedersen puts it back in there. So we headed away again. Nielsen should deal with it. Gives it to Doi. Mansbeck, intricate pass in. Lorenzo, oh, he's offside. Endrick's offside. Never a goal. I know I got the one in the last game wrong, but that was clear. Not a goal. I would have loved it if it was. Uh, okay, 
41st goal of the season denied he was quite far offside and rightly so okay continue on we've been playing well liverpool now three to up against Bayern. what a game what a game over there half time one nil to hearts feeling confident um i'm gonna say i'm just gonna go delighted with the performance so far they haven't got rid of those offside lines permanently indented on the pitch now we have been the better team assuming that Monaco will start to maybe come out a little bit but I guess they don't need to just yet because on aggregate it's still level Rizzo finds Nielsen on this right hand side still Nielsen clips it forward looking for Lorenzo Luco sort of gave up on the ball there Lorenzo Luca but Nielsen's done well to win it back now Lorenzo Luca Endrick I think he's offside again he's not it's 2-0 it's 2 0, 4 3 in aggregate. Let's go. If I'm. I might, I might just need to pause. I think we signed him from Monaco. Oh, it's Marseille. He was at Marseille. Okay. Okay. I know he went to a French, I knew he went to a French team. We got him off a French team. Okay. Doing all right. Doing all right. Um, what can we do? Can we change anything? Do we need to change anything? I don't think so. Let's just go for a shout. Let's go for a focus shout. Uh, instructions will go on the one click time waste. Other than that, probably not going to change much. Although, actually, I will. We will make a sub. Nielsen's going to come off. I am going to bring on Calvin Ramsey. Josh Doy can come off. He's playing well, but we'll bring on Tyreek Mitchell. Fresh legs. I think I might take off Mansbeck. He's only got a card. And I'm going to bring on Tommy Doyle just for some fresh legs in midfield. We could also take Pozzo off as well. I'm going to do that for Marshall Colbert. I weren't going to make subs, I ended up making four. But fresh legs in midfield at fullback as well to try and help us get through this game. I'm tempted to take off Lorenzo Luca and bring on a defensive player. However, if they then score. I'm down to one striker and no wingers on the pitch. What a save, Rizzo. Asensio, our nemesis from the first leg, takes a free kick. It's a decent free kick as well, but Rizzo up to it. And it's another good stop. Offside? No, it's 2-1. And this is why I couldn't take off Lorenzo Luca. And I'm not going to waste any time now. Five minutes to go. And this could be about to get fruity. Oh no. Get it out. Oh, it's over the bar, thank God. I don't know if he saved it, I don't know if it deflected. But another corner. Real tension around the ground. Asensio to take it. I'm absolutely pooing myself. Asensio, ball in. Headed away. Comes out to Henrique. Boom, gets there first. But no highlight for us, unfortunately. Looks like it is going to end potentially 2-1 and we will be going the extra time unless there's a late, late goal. But that is it. Extra time it is, which is okay. I feel like extra time is better for us than it is for them. Um, we're doing just fine. On another day, we might have won. Keep it going. We can get the job done. Um, I, I feel like that's fine. A lot of players starting to tire. So are they, though thinking like where can we make the sub that's going to make an impact potentially what can I do Skeldrip that is the man isn't he he is the man we bring on Skeldrip I think that is the sub that we need to make for Pedersen Madaweki potential foot injury could bring him on late because it went to extra time we'll have one extra sub one two three yeah we've used five because we're in extra time, we should have another. Alright, do I change it? Do we change it and go for it? Is the question. I think we do. I think we do. Mm, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to start the extra time, we're going to pause it straight away. I'm going to go to our tactics and we will say 
we're going to move over to this formation. Endrick up top, Skeldrip on the left, Arja ball winning, Colbert in here, Doyle in there, Lorenzo Luca off, Noni Madueki goes on. And this is it. This is going to be it. That's all of our subs made. Hopefully Madueki can get through 15 minutes and maybe contribute something. Celtic won by a goal to nil. That game has then gone to extra time. They're also in extra time along with us. Oh, we could be going to penalties. So could they. This is incredible. Could we could potentially have two Scottish teams in the quarterfinal. We had two teams in the round of 16 last time. Skeldrup, still going. Skeldrup. Oh. All right, come on. We don't want penalties, really. Oh, that's penalty. It's going to be penalties. Madueki keeps, he keeps it in. This is literally probably the last attack of the game. Punts it forward, looking for Endrick. The ball isn't going to come off. And Monaco. Oh, now go. Go. Nonny. Endrick, he's in. Get round him. Oh, he's done it. He's fucking done it, boys. Literally, going to be the last kick of the game. Endrick has sealed it. Surely, it's game over. And it looks like Celtic may have gone out on penalties. We are through. Endrick with the winner in added time of extra time. Woo! Let's go. Unfortunately, it did look like Celtic may have been beaten on penalties. Uh, they have been beaten on penalties, but we are through. After extra time, Milan have beaten United by three goals to nil. United look like they're heading out. Endrick is going further in the Champions League with us than his parent team for next season. Oh, that is absolutely delightful, chat. Absolutely delightful. We love to see it. Obviously, they want a permanent deal for Endrick. The game isn't still realising that we sold him at the start of the season, but with a loan back clause, so... Yeah, three goals, hat trick hero, eight million into the bank. Oh, it's huge. All right, chat, what we're going to do is we're going to sim forward for the draw. We'll get the draw involved at the end of this episode. Stick around. Right, chat, as you can see in front of us, you have the results of the round of 16 round in the, the Champions League. You can see that eventually we got through a 5 4 against Monaco. Unfortunately, Celtic going out on penalties to Borussia Dortmund. Um, Barcelona beating Fiorentina 5 0 in aggregate. Leipzig 6 0 win over Nice in aggregate. Arsenal getting past Marseille. PSG beating Chelsea by 5 goals to 3 on aggregate. The same scoreline for Liverpool beating Bayern Munich. And then we have Milan getting a 4 2 win over Manchester United on aggregate. Now, unfortunately, I didn't get a notification to say that the draw came up. So the draw was just done. I had a message in my inbox of who I've got. So we're going to quickly show you now. This is the draw for the quarterfinals. We are going to be playing against Borussia Dortmund, whilst Barcelona play against Leipzig, Arsenal versus PSG, Liverpool versus Milan. I mean, to be fair, if I had to pick a team, probably would have gone for Leipzig, Milan or Dortmund. Um, so I'm happy that we got one of the three. I guess it was a 50-50. Uh, we could have ended, well, not quite because we don't want any of those four teams. But we've avoided them. Chances are we'll get one of them in the semis if we can make it. If we do get through to the semi-finals, we will have to do it live because there's no way. If I win the Champions League with Hearts inside six seasons, people ain't going to believe. They are not going to believe. The world is full of non-believers. So if we do make it past Dortmund in the next episode, we will live stream the semi-final and final here on YouTube and we'll also try and get it live on Facebook at the same time if we can. But yeah guys, what an episode. We're through to the quarterfinals of the Champions League. Drop a huge thumbs up on the video and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.